you wouldn't buy property. Minsky explicitly said banks shouldn't buy property. The biggest banks <coughs> are buying property. They're buying commodities. They're buying businesses. So there's a famous uh, case of Goldman Sachs, which has tried to corner the aluminum market. They got into buying warehouses full of aluminum. And they're keeping them off the market to try to uh, push up the price of aluminum. Um, they wouldn't bet against their own customers. Goldman Sachs specializes in betting against their own customers. So there was a, this guy named uh, John Paulson, who's a hedge fund guy. He, he said, I want to bet against the mortgage market. I think a lot of the mortgages are bad and that house prices are going to collapse. Of course, he was right. And so he went to Goldman Sachs and he said, would you let me pick the mortgages that will go together into a security. I'll pick really bad mortgages, bundle them together into mortgage-backed security, and then we'll sell that. And what I will do is I'll buy what are called credit default swaps, insurance against it. In other words, I'm going to bet that mortgage-backed security goes down in value. Because the mortgages in the security are really bad. How do I know they're bad? I'm going to pick them. Goldman Sachs says, sure, we'll let you do that. Problems. Who are you going to sell that to? Who, who would purposely buy a mortgage-backed security knowing that a hedge fund manager picked the very worst mortgages and put them into that security? Right. Only a fool would buy it. Potential family misses to buy the asset by the Goldman Sachs. I have seen on the, there is a movie when they explain how the securitization food chain works. Yeah. And they explain that the Pension fund buy. Well, pension, but if the pension fund knew Goldman Sachs had let John Paulson, would, would you buy it? Probably not even a pension fund would be that foolish. But Goldman Sachs says, don't worry. We'll sell it to our own customers, including pension funds. And we're not going to tell them. Yes, at the end, they had eighteen dollar of pension. <laughs> we're not going to tell them that we let John Paulson pick them. They even let John Paulson meet with the buyers without telling the buyers that John Paulson had picked the bad mortgages put in. So I'm just saying, is this a good customer relationship that Goldman Sachs is building with its customers? No. It's exactly the opposite of what Kaminsky said. Okay. It's using your customers as dupes. Okay. As dopes. You're going to dupe the dope. You're going to sell them trash and not tell them.